I got your ball. Unbelievable. <laughs> so good morning. Welcome to my channel, Homemade and Homegrown. If you're new to the channel, my name is Tammy. See that with the sun shining in it. But there's sunflower seeds, millet, um, barley, uh, all kinds of um, protein based seeds. Everything's finally starting to melt around here. Like they're all excited. You want this? Over that. Let's see about getting some eggs. Um, we got one here. She's always laying on the eggs. <laughs> I'll leave that there for a second. Check the other side. So what I've done, see that one marked with an X? <laughs> That's a ceramic fake one. So what I'm doing actually is because my chicken, two of them actually, don't like it when I take the egg and I'm going to be getting a rooster soon. Um, she's been brooding, like laying on the eggs. So I thought, you know what, I'm going to Get one of these, yeah, fake ones. Oops. Get one of these fake, or two of these fake ones. <laughs> and I leave them behind and then she just, she keeps laying on it. So I'm kind of training her. And the other one, we got a brown one. See, she'll come right back, all right? 
Anyway, I'm training her to to lay on the eggs. So I won't have to worry about uh, incubating them. She'll do all the work for me. <laughs> Here's hoping. So we got a good amount of eggs. We got 11 birds. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six brown and all six laid. And we got three white. So we got two that didn't lay yet. But two of my girls actually, they are late bloomers. They lay the eggs later on in the day because they're the ones that are at the bottom of the pecking order. <laughs> and uh, so they wait till everybody's out. Go do their thing. <laughs> what you doing? Lean to for the firewood. <clears throat> a wood shelter out of pallet. Yep. Waste not, want not. <laughs> so we're trying to speed things up a little bit. The trailer was frozen. This trailer. It's frozen over there where Hercules is. <laughs> Not the one in the yellow, the other one. <laughs> and then we got another trailer that we have to pull out. Because this is where we're going to put our shed. So he's yanked both. Whoops. He's yanked both. Uh, well, he's still got to get that trailer out, but he's yanked that big one, that black one. And now we're trying to get that pallet that's leaning up against the shed here because that's going to be, I think, another piece of the wall for the shed, for the wood shelter. We're going to get all this nicely cleaned up. Can't wait. Well, while the boys are playing in the snow and trying to get those trailers out, let's go down to the garden and take a look at how um my little hoop houses are going this should be fun <laughs> so i'm gonna go down there and i'll turn you back on <laughs> glad i didn't record you me coming down that hill <laughs> oh my gosh all right so the hoop houses i put the plastic over top these are just for my raised garden beds and uh, i wanted them to warm up quicker. Oh, my little gate fell. There we go. Okay, so I'll turn the camera around. So, a few weeks ago, Joe and I, we were out here and we were shoveling out some of the snow before we put the plastic back on. So we're gonna see if they're melted. Should be, hopefully. Oh, I don't want to pull it down or it's not completely, but it looks good. Yeah. So it's still frozen in the ground, but it's got about two or three inches, two inches. Of loose soil so we're doing good so that's exciting so what I'm gonna be putting in here uh, will be my things like my cabbage my broccoli and cauliflower um, oh what else probably that's it for starters for now but um, and then we're also Fix this gate here. Turn the camera. Hold on. I'm kind. Whoops. So I'm contemplating. We're we're building another chicken coop, and it's going to be uh, a lot bigger, and what they call a California style. Um, and I'm contemplating on where to put it. Should I put it down here, closer to the field, closer to the garden, um, so that they're down here already? Or up 
or up there <laughs> uh, by you see that red um, let me see see the red uh, canoe so we've got wood piled up there so once Joe gets the shed for the wood built we're gonna move that wood out of the way and um, anyway we're gonna move the wood put it over in that shed and then it's nice and clear now the thing that I was thinking about was for the meat kings because I still want them to have a uh, like a nice outdoor run where they can come in and out all, you know all they want and uh, be free range so what I was thinking about was to move once you had all that wood moved then I could do an extension because the white part of the shed here let me turn the camera on because it's so sunny that I don't think you can see it okay so sorry I'll use my finger but this this is the part that is going to be cleared out this here is this white part that's where I was uh, having my chickens my meat kings hang out for the nighttime and then in the morning for the daytime I would let them out but I was building a um, removable fence in around that area so that they could come out where that used to be our coop la uh, about seven years ago so there's a, a trap door that is in between where the, the the building is and the the wood and that was their that was their chicken run for our egg layers so I'm thinking of putting that back the way it was specifically just for the meat kings that I'll be getting next month and then the new chicken coop um, to come down here and move this little uh, shelter move that and put the new chicken coop along here so the California style I'll, uh, whoops I'm falling through the snow so California style che uh, chicken coops um, they it, you can you can google it actually there's a company that, and they don't care that you copy their their um, style but it's mostly uh, you know a square I'll, I'll show a picture I'll post a picture here but it, it's basically the one side of it is the box where they're where they live and where they lay their eggs and all that stuff and then you've got like a nice covered um, run attached to the side of it but I'm still gonna have them free range so it's just that I thought that that would be a perfect um, thing for them for, especially for the winter because then they, they'll still have outdoor um, life <laughs> in the winter time and have a bit of a run to play in in the winter uh, because I don't just let them go throughout the winter I know some people do uh, but I've got way too many predators around here that uh, right now actually I've got two weasels that are living underneath my my uh, tomato garden up there and it's right beside that chicken coop and I've been watching on my camera as I've said two of them at first I thought there was just the one but one night I got a notification on my camera and <laughs> I I seen two I'm like you've got to be kidding me so yeah so we're trying to capture them we're having a heck of a time getting them but we will get them <laughs> but I'm watching them on my camera and they are they're circling they're they're trying to dig but luckily we have um, some of the um, metal fabric mesh I think it's called anyway it, it's about two feet away from where they would normally dig when they dig they can't get through so and what I love too about the the chicken coop is that it's a raised chicken coop it's off the ground and so nothing can get in to the chicken coop so I was really happy when Joe designed this one so it's similar it'll be similar the new one and uh He's going to actually, <laughs> just for fun, uh, it's going to be like shaped or designed like a like an old church, an old country church. So um, that fits my style. <laughs> so.
so I thought that was pretty cute that he thought of uh, thought of that. So he's going to do that. So anyway, what I'm trying to figure out whether to have that new chicken coop up there or bring it down here. Now, mind you, I have to think of in the winter time about coming down and collecting eggs. We've been doing uh, great selling the eggs that we do have, even though we've got 11 chickens. They lay one every single day. Um, we do keep the a daylight um, bulb going on in the coop. So that keeps them going too, and it's nice and warm. And um, But yeah, they, they've been doing awesome. And so I figured, well, with the amount of customers that we've been accumulating, let's uh, get some more chickens. So I've got 16 more coming. I may order a few more, I'm not sure yet, but we'll see, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how ambitious I get. <laughs> but uh, the decision is whether to keep the, put the new coop down here or keep it up there. So uh, I don't know, give me your opinion. What, what do you think I should do? Put, put it up there or bring it down here? Let me know on the comments below. Also check this out. We're still working on fixing the greenhouses. That'll be one of the next projects because uh, by then, hopefully, because it's, it's supposed to be a really awesome weekend and week uh, with nice warm temperatures. So I'm really looking forward to majority of this snow being gone um, so that we can really attack and finish these greenhouses. Uh, he did put some more bracing on the other one. Oops, I'm falling through the snow. Hold on. Bring you over. But he did put some more bracing on this one. And I have the plastic that I used for those um, hoop covers, whatever you want to call them. So I've still got a fair amount of that. So I'm going to use as much as I can to fix the, the cover. Um, we did get some tape too, just to Gorilla Tape, the clear stuff to uh, tape up any small little rips and things like that so hopefully that'll work but that's what we're working on right now and uh, wish me luck <laughs> also another thing that i plan on doing is fencing in some of this area um, i don't want my chickens last year they were actually climbing up that hill there and you'll see here in a minute a car is going to go by but that's a road and they were crossing the road so there goes the car so they they were they had no problem crossing over the road well um to the other side and don't don't tell me the joke <laughs> why the chicken crossed the street um <laughs> anyway and the previous owners to this place own across the road so we really don't want them going over there so we're gonna fence in somewhere, some areas, so that uh, they don't go through. Um, also, these are beautiful flowers in the summer. Uh, they're roses, wild roses, I believe. Uh, so I'm gonna probably get pruning them, cleaning them up pretty soon before any growth, like leaves and things like that, and get rid of some of the dead stuff. So I'll be doing that. Um, uh, this side hill is, full of beautiful flowers but it's also full of uh, annoying weeds <laughs> so I'm hopefully going to be able to get um, in there also and start uh, probably burning the, um, the dead stuff which would be an easier task than trying to rake it out and clean it out so I'll burn that before any of the new growth comes um, and it's a three layer it's three like it's got three tiers uh, that she built and I'm sure when she had this going it looked beautiful um, I've heard of people that were coming here and getting their wedding pictures done so um, so I, I'd like to see about getting that going too and just cleaning that up this year is really going to be a lot of cleaning and pruning and uh, getting things the way I want it to look I know it's going to be a lot of work, but it's going to be rewarding at the end. I know um, 
nothing comes for free, right? <laughs> so I'll be doing that and uh, I'll be bringing you along with me. Lots to do around here and uh, I just can't wait to get the snow out of the way and get to work. <laughs> um, I was really excited that Joe was starting on the, the shed. I wanted to get that wood out of there for a while um, and build a nice shed for the wood and uh, get that going. So that's the first project. Here we go, trying to climb this hill. Um, <laughs> see, and the chickens too, they loved coming down here and getting down into the field. So I'm really, I don't know why I'm so stuck on where to put this coop. Um, and what would be the best, best for them, but best for me, you know, convenience and things. So, oh, I made it up the hill. So this coop here is going to be our brooder slash nursery. So I've got two or three chickens that seem to be very um, broody. <laughs> they love laying on the eggs. So, uh, whew, catch my breath. <laughs> Definitely get my exercise up and down that hill in the summertime. Definitely in the winter. But anyway, so that's why I was also laying the ceramic eggs there. Just to keep that, that going. Um, I heard it works, so we'll see. Um, but once I get the rooster, I'll have the rooster and a couple of the hens here living together. Um, and uh, the other ones, they won't be near the near the rooster. Obviously, we don't want to be eating fertilized eggs. <laughs> Nobody wants to do that. So yeah, you see that? So that's this is where I'm talking about. Let me turn the camera around. So this part, where is it? Okay, so this part and this part used to be um, the chicken coop. And we used to go inside here and the laying boxes were in here. And across the back side there was their um, area where they would hang out, where they would stoop. So uh, anyway, we used to go inside here and grab the eggs. This was an outdoor shelter in the wintertime, but then out here we had it fenced in. So as you can see, we, we've still got the, the um, chain link fence there along the backside. We kept that up. That's our property line. So, um, and then we just started piling our wood there once we didn't have any chickens. So this is what I'm contemplating. For that to be a nice long run, they've got um, access to uh, blackberries and raspberries and things like that also which I think would be a nice treat for them. Um, and lots of grass and all, all that. So it would be ideal for them. Where last year, where these barrels are, um, that's the door to let them in and out. So we were bringing the fence line out to about here and they just had this section and then they had a little over here. So that's right too. Okay, so the, it came out, came out to about here and then it came out about halfway yeah, about halfway here. So they only had this little space, but they loved it. They had a, you know, great life. So <clears throat> at least they got to see the outside and be out in the sun. And so, yeah, so I don't know. I'm just hard pressed for some reason to make a decision on where to put the new coop. Because otherwise, if, if I didn't do it that way for the Meat Kings, the new coop would be up here. So if you think it would be better off to put it here, which is nice and close to the house, <laughs> just scoot over. Um, ideally, yes, that makes more sense to put it there because it's close to the house. But I'm just trying to think of the Meat Kings and what to do with them. I can't put the Meat Kings in, uh, down there because that's too, you might as well just give them over to the predators because um, there's so many that come around here. I don't know. We'll see. 
And my husband set a trap and he put bacon on it. <laughs> Funny though, they keep setting it off and they're not getting caught. Well, sorry guys, for some reason my sound cut out. I think it's time for a new camera. So I guess I'll sign off for now. That's all I've got for you today. Um, so sorry about this, but I hope to see you again. So take care, everybody, and God bless.